Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing an uh, introduction to three dimensional geometry. So, this is the lecture number four. I hope you have already watched part one, two, three before watching this part four. In this lecture, we are going to learn about the section formula. So, let us start uh, section formula. What is it and uh, how we can deal with the situation of section formula? So, in section formula, uh, basically, this is a section formula. Uh, the topic which I wanted want to discuss today is the section formula. So, section formula is the topic, and this is an x axis, y axis, and z axis. Say like this this is x axis, y axis, and z axis. Isn't it? So, this is an x dash, this is an y dash, and this is an z dash. Any point lies on it, um, there are two points, say like uh, x and y are the two points say this is a p and q if this point is p and this point is q and coordinate of that is x1 y1 z1 and that is x2 y2 and z2 if i draw a perpendicular uh, and any other point lie on it which divides the coordinate of this is x y z which divide in ratio m is to n then what is the coordinate of r so using the similar triangle we can have this uh, uh, the coordinate along x axis is x coordinate coordinate uh, along y axis is y coordinate isn't it so i just draw this isn't it and uh, this is uh, what we can assume that x coordinate and y coordinate and z coordinate so similarly here uh, just I am proving this for x coordinate, so it will be like uh, m is to n. So here um, we can have this distance because this is an x coordinate, so that will be x2 minus x, x2 minus x, and that will be x minus x1. This one is m, this is an r, it is a, say b, and this is c, a, b, c. So here uh, we can have these two triangles that have similar since triangle P R since triangle P R let me write this much clearer than this. Okay. So this is just P R and uh, <coughs> P R is here. So, R is this point and coordinate of R is x, y, z. So, R is a point and uh, this is M part that is N part. Clearly, triangle P, R, C, B, P, B, R, triangle P, B, R and triangle um, P, B, R and triangle P, C, R are similar. Isn't it? We can have like of this one also. So, PBR and this is point D, right? A, B, C, D. Since triangle PQR and triangle RDQ, RDQ are similar, similar and therefore we can write here um, AR upon RQ is equal to PR PR this point is not a it is already described as P so PR PR upon RQ is equal to this is P B P B upon this one is R D R D. So here we can write it for city 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 and uh, corresponding parts are proportional and therefore this employee this can be written as x minus x1 by m x minus x1 by x minus x2 x minus x1 p r h 
therefore PR is nothing else but uh, this is M and this is N and this is X minus X1 and this is X2 minus X. So this employee M times of X2 minus X is equal to N times of X minus X1. So we can write it mx2 minus mx is equal to nx minus nx1 and therefore it will be um, mx2 plus nx1 is equal to nx plus mx and this employee m plus n into x is equal to because x can be taken common this is nothing else mx2 plus nx1 and therefore x is equal to mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n. This is an x coordinate. Similarly, y coordinate can be calculated as similarly, similarly, y coordinate is y is given as my2 plus ny1 upon m plus n and z coordinate will be given as mz2 plus nz1 upon m plus n. Right, so these are formula. If R is the midpoint, if R is the midpoint, midpoint of PQ, that is PR is equal to QR. This employee M is equal to N, and in that case, X coordinate will be equal to x1 plus x2 by 2, y coordinate is y1 plus y2 by 2 and z coordinate is z1 plus z2 by 2. Because if you put in place of an m, then m can be taken common and here m plus m is 2m. So m will cancel and 2 will be left. So in all these cases, so this is a midpoint formula. Now we can solve some questions. So looking for question, uh, we are going to solve from exercise. 12.3. So exercise 12.3. So we can start from here only. And the first question which is given here is the very first question is find the coordinate of the points which divide the line segment. Find the coordinate of the point. Coordinate of the point which divide the line segment which divide the line segment line segment joining segment joining minus 2 3 5 and 1 minus 4 6 in the ratio in the ratio 2 is to 3 internally, 2 is to 3 internally, internally, and 2 is to 3 externally, 2 is to 3 externally, externally. So when R divides X internally, coordinate is given. I remember before writing anything else, I would like to hear the third case of the work. When R divides the line segment, when R X Y Z divides the line segment, divides the line segment joining P X one, Y one, and Z one, and X two, Y two, and Z two in ratio m is to n externally then what will happen then the same formula will be applicable except negative sign then x is equal to mx2 minus nx1 upon m minus n y is equal to my2 minus ny1 upon m minus n and z is equal to mz2 minus mz1 divided by m minus n. Remember this. 
So using all these formula, the first question, when line segment, line segment joining, joining, this is uh, 2 minus 2, 3, 5, say P minus 2, 3, 5 and Q, say given here, uh, 1 minus 6, 1 minus 4, 6, 1 minus 4 and 6 in ratio, the ratio 2 is to 3 internally, internally by R, by R. by r x comma y comma z then coordinate of r h x is equal m x2 m is 2 and x2 is 1 so 2 into 1 plus 3 into minus 2 divided by 2 plus 3 that is 2 minus 6 upon 5 so that is minus 4 upon 5 y is equal to 2 into minus 4 plus 3 into 3 right divided by 2 plus 3 and that will be minus 8 minus plus 9 that is 1 upon 5 and z is equal to 2 into 6 plus 3 into 5 upon 2 plus 3 that is 12 plus 15, 27 upon 5. Hence the coordinate of R in that case, hence the required coordinate, therefore the required coordinate, the required coordinate of point R, of point R is what? X coordinate is minus 4 by 5. Y coordinate is 1 by 5 and Z coordinate is 27 by 5. That will be answered. Now, the second part of the question. Second part of the question is like this. Let R, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, divide the line segment joining. Divide the line segment joining, line segment joining P, P minus 2, 3, 5 and Q 1 minus 4, 6, 1 minus 4, 6 in ratio 2 is to 3 externally, externally, then x is equal to what? 2 into 1, 2 and minus plus 6. So 6 plus 2 is 8 divided by minus 1, that is 8 divided by minus 1 is minus 8. And similarly, y is equal to 2 multiplied by minus 4 minus 3 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 minus 3 and that will be minus 9 minus 8 minus 17 upon minus 1 that is 17 and z coordinate is also given as z coordinate is 2 into 6 2 into 6 minus 3 into 5 divided by 2 minus 3 that is 6 to the 12 minus 15 minus 3 upon minus 1 that is 3 and therefore coordinate of R, coordinate of point R, point R which divide, divides the line segment, line segment in the ratio, line in ratio 2 is to 3 externally is, is R 
that is what so minus 8 minus 8 17 and 3 that will be also the discussion so i hope you got it okay now the next question that i would like to take on is question number 2 and question number 2 is there given that p given that p 3 2 minus 4 3 2 minus 4 q 5 4 minus 6 5 4 minus 6 and r r that is 9 8 and minus 10 are collinear are collinear collinear find the ratio in which find the ratio in which q divides q divides divides pr so this is the solution is here now say this is a line segment and this line segment is here p q r we can assume this P is a 3, 2, minus 4, Q is 5, 4, minus 6, and R is 9, 8, minus 10. Since they are collinear, so they lie on the same points. Let Q divides PR in ratio K is to 1. You can write here, let Q divides the line segment line segment PR in ratio K is to 1 in ratio K is to 1 this is K this is 1 right so therefore X coordinate coordinate is given by internally internally okay so X coordinate is given by given by x coordinate 5 is equal to k into 9 plus 1 into 3 divided by k plus 1. This employee 5k plus 5 right is equal to 9k plus 3. This employee 5 minus 3 is equal to 9k minus 5k that is 2 is equal to 4k and therefore k is equal to 2 by 4 and hence that is 1 by 2. So k is to 1 is equal to 1 is to 2. So internally therefore k is to 1 is 1 is to 2. k is 1 is to 2. So they divides in ratio 1 is to 2 internally and therefore Therefore, K divides, Q divides PR in ratio 2 is to 1 internal, internal, right? I hope you got it. Now, the next question, question number 3. Find the ratio in which YZ plane, find the ratio in which yz plane yz plane divides the line segment divides the line segment line segment formed by joining the points formed by joining the points joining the points minus 2, 4, 7, 3, minus 5, 8, right. So, we know any point lie on YZ plane will have Z coordinate 0. If this is a YZ plane, say like this, 
then here z coordinate is zero. Y z plane, the z coordinate must be zero. Let this is a y z plane. Okay. So y z plane and the line is passing from this to so here y z plane the z coordinate is g. We can assume its solution. So any point any point lies in y z plane y z plane has x coordinate 0 x coordinate 0 0 right and the line segment is here that is divided by this line segment is divided by this only so it is points lies here only so say this is a point and this point r has coordinate x comma 0 comma y comma z right now so and this point has coordinate this is p that is minus 2 4 7 and q is 3 minus 5 8 okay let this divide in ratio k is to 1 right so we can write 0 let r coordinate of r let r and therefore we can write let r 0 comma y comma z divides the line segment line segment joining p e minus 2 4 7 and q 3 minus 5 8 in ratio k is to 1 in ratio k is to 1 in ratio k is to 1 and therefore x coordinate is given by coordinate therefore x coordinate of r is given by by x is equal to what is that x is equal to k into what is that k into 3 plus 1 into minus 2 k into 3 plus 1 into minus 2 divided by k plus 1 but k plus x coordinate is 0 and therefore 3k minus 2 upon k plus 1 is 0 and therefore 3k minus 2 this will come this at 0 0 and therefore 3k is equal to 2 therefore k is equal to 2 by 3 hence r which lies in plane which lies in plane yz yz divides the line segment segment in ratio line segment PR in ratio 2 is to 3 internal I hope you got it okay now question number 4 and the question number 4 is using section formula using section formula formula so that the point say so that the points a a 2 minus 3 and 4 and b minus 1 2 1 and c 0 1 by 3 and 2 are collinear are collinear collinear how to do this so let b divides a c in ratio page 2 solution 
let b minus 1 to 1 divides a c in ratio a h to 1 a h to 1 and therefore x coordinate is given by minus 1 k into 0 plus 1 into 2 divided by k plus 1 this employ minus k minus 1 is equal to 2 and therefore k is equal to minus 3 k is equal to minus 3 again um, y coordinate is given by k is equal to minus 3 y coordinate that is 2 is equal to k into 1 by 3 plus 1 into minus 3 divided by k plus 1 so that will be 2k plus 2 is equal to k by 3 minus 3 so that will come here like uh, 3 uh, this 3 will come this side so it will be um, this employee 2k plus 5 is equal to k by 3 so that will be this employee 6k plus 15 is equal to k and that is uh, 5k is equal to minus 15 and k is equal to minus 3 again and also z is z coordinate is 1 is equal to 1 is equal to k into what is that k into 2 also k is equal to when you can write in z coordinate is given here 1 is equal to 2 into 1 is equal to 2 into k plus 1 into upon k plus 1 1 into 4 upon k plus 1 so this will be k plus 1 is equal to 2k plus 4 and this employee k will come this side it will be k and 4 come this side it will be minus 3 so for each of them k is minus 3 and hence they are collinear since so therefore it proves that it proves that b divides ac in ratio minus 3 is to 1 minus 3 is to 1 internally internally that is 3 is to 1 externally negative sign shows that negative sign shows that they divide externally in ratio 3 is to 1 externally okay i hope you got it now the next question is question number 5 and the question number 5 is find the coordinate of the point find the coordinate coordinates of the points of the points which trisect the line segment which trisect the line segment segment joining the points joining the points points P 4 2 minus 6 4 2 minus 6 and Q 10 minus 16 and 6 okay let R and S are two points this is the point here this one this one this one R and S are two points let us see this is P and this is Q P and this is Q coordinate of this is 10 minus 16 and 6 and P coordinate of P is what 4 2 and 6 
price segments left here R is another point and S is another point. These are the three parts. R and S are the three points. Here the coordinate of R is x1, y1, z1 and coordinate of S is x2, y2 and z2 like this. So this each of them are equal. R and S left. R and S, R and S divides PQ such that such that PR is equal to RS is equal to SQ. Right? Huh? So it means R divides PQ in ratio 1 is to 2. This employee R divides the lines segment PQ in ratio in ratio 1 is to 2 internally and therefore coordinate of internally therefore coordinate of R is given by coordinate of R is given by coordinate of R is given by given by 1 is to 2 so 1 into 10 1 into 10 plus 2 into 4 upon 1 plus 2 that is x coordinate y coordinate is 1 into minus 16 plus 2 into 2 divided by 1 plus 2 and z coordinate is 1 into 6 plus 2 into 6 divided by 1 plus 2 and that will be 10 plus 8 18 by 3 is 6 so this is 6 and this is 2 to the 4 minus 16 plus 4 is 12 minus 12 divided by 3 is minus 4 and this is 12 plus 6 18 by 3 is 6 so that is 6 minus 4 and 6 this is the coordinate 6 minus 4 and 6 this is the coordinate of r and s divides in ratio 2 is to 1 also also, S divides the line segment PQ, segment PQ in ratio 2 is to 1, 2 is to 1 internally, internally and therefore, therefore coordinate of coordinate of S is given by given by what is that coordinate of S is given by 2 into 10 2 into 10 plus 1 into 4 upon 2 plus 1 2 into minus 16 plus 1 into 2 divided by 2 plus 1 and Z coordinate is given by 2 into 6 plus 1 into 6 divided by 2 plus 1 and that is what which is given as 20, 20 plus 424 by 3 is 8, 8 8 and this is minus 32 plus 2 minus 30 by 3, 3 is minus 10 and this is 12 plus 6 18 by 3 is 6 so this is the coordinate and uh, therefore s is that is S is equal to this. So coordinate of S is given by coordinate of S is given by S is given by this. Hence, thus R R coordinate of R is six minus four six six minus four six and S eight minus 10 6 are the two points two points which trisect trisect the line segment segment joining p r joining p r okay so that is the answer i hope you got it
So that's all in this lecture. I hope you got it. And this is all about in this class. So thank you, thank you very much for watching this. Do subscribe this channel and don't forget to watch another video next. Thank you.